This local sports report is presented by Homewood Suites by Hilton of Cambridge Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports and the Hespler Shamrocks. Call now to take advantage of Homewood's sport rate offer and receive a discount for your accommodation. Homewood is your home away from home for tournaments and special events. Book your stay now by calling 519-651-2888 or visit cambridgewaterloo.homewoodsuites.com. Sunday afternoon, PJHL action. The Hespler Shamrocks back at the Hespler Memorial Arena in Cambridge for their final home game of their regular season. The Shammies facing off with the Tavistock Braves. First period, and it's a good start for the Braves. This is Alexander Thompson on the break. He's in on net. Tyson Gustaw stones him cold and keeps the scoreless. Late in the first now, and it's the Shammies on a 5 on 3 power play. Alex Spencer walks into the slot and rips a low shot on net. Thomas Giffen slams it home! It's the Rocks striking first late in the first, and they take a 1 0 lead. And the penalty trouble would continue for the Braves in the second now, and it's another Shammies 5 on 3. Braden Tyler plays it to Derek Taylor, and Derek's got a tap in! That's back to back conversions on the 5 on 3 from Hespler, and they take a 2 0 lead. Then it's the Braves back to even strength and watch the pass from Ryan Soljak. He slaps it across to Alexander Thompson. Alex flies in on net and buries a beauty. What a move from Thompson. His fourth of the season and the Braves cut the Shamrocks lead in half. Jumping to the third period now and it's Tavi coming out of the break on a mission. Only a minute into the frame and how about Ian Glendening? He sets up Nicholas Thibodeau for the equalizer. That goal knots is at 2-2 and the Braves wouldn't stop there. Only 30 seconds later, and it's more from Thibodeau. Nick flies in on net, pulls a move, and scores it! That's back-to-back -back goals from Nicholas Thibodeau, and just like that, the Braves take a 3-2 lead. Minutes later now, and it's the Shamrocks battling back on this play. Alex Spencer lets a shot fly through traffic, and the puck finds the goal mesh! That's a great shot from Spencer, his second of the season, and the Shammies tie the game up at 3 each. Only a minute later, and it's the Braves back on the rush looking to retake their lead. Owen oh, Ron's one-timer trickles in! That's the go-ahead goal for the Braves, and that goal would open the floodgates. Moments later, and it's more Tavi offense. Carter McKay speeds into the Shammy's zone and lets it go on net, and he's got a goal! That's McKay's sixth of the season, and it's 5-3 Tavi. And the Braves would keep the foot on the gas. Here's Will Schlotzhauer walking to the slot and burying number six for the Braves. So it's a massive third period from the Tavistock Braves as they put away six in the third and take it. This one ending with a final score of 7-3 on Sunday afternoon. The Shammies booking a ticket with the Wellesley Applejacks in the first round of the playoffs, and the Braves will face off with the Woodstock Navy Vets.